If you've ever wanted to stream everywhere all at once, wasn't quite sure how to do it on OBS, well then this is a tutorial for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about a to multi-stream. Now this is a free plugin for OBS and it's kind of a continuation upon my last tutorial, which was all about Atom Vertical, which is a very handy plugin for backtracking clips instead of having to edit them afterwards and for streaming vertically live. So the first thing you wanna do is go to atom.tv forward slash multi and download the OBS plugin. Once we have loaded up OBS, if you do not see the multi-stream dock here on, on somewhere on your screen, make sure you go to docs and Atom multi-stream is selected. When you first load up the dock, you're just gonna be met with whatever your built-in stream is for OBS set up by yourself previously, if it's YouTube, if it's Twitch, um, that will automatically populate at the start here. And then we also have a default output for a vertical multi-stream as well. I just wanna say too that your vertical settings um, from the previous video within streaming is completely moot. There's no reason to actually configure any of your vertical outputs here now in the vertical settings for streaming. Recording and backtrack still applies, but for streaming, we just ignore it. We've got a nice little wee warning here at the top as well that tells us that, um, that we've got multi installed. So none of this is configurable. This just means nothing to us from now on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure that your audio on OBS is set up correctly, especially if you're using copyrighted music in the background, like some of us might do but you save it out to a different Twitch VOD track and you can actually stream from that track as well, allowing you to stream without copyright music on say Kick or YouTube and get struck down for that. So inside OBS, we wanna to go to File, Settings, inside Output, we're gonna make sure that we've got Advanced selected here, Audio Track is gonna be one, and then you're gonna enable the Twitch VOD track and you're gonna select number two. Basically, that means that anything that goes out to Twitch VOD track number two doesn't go onto the actual VOD on Twitch, and we can select this audio track output for our other streams. Inside the audio mixer, you wanna right click inside it, click advanced audio properties. So for example, here we got Spotify, and what we want to make sure is number two is not selected. This basically means that there is no music getting put out onto track two, which basically means track two is safe across other streaming platforms. So inside the Aiden Multistream dock, we then have got um, a little link out to the website, a little support, and we've got the settings cog as well. Now inside the settings, we've got our general settings, basically links out to the other settings on the other tabs here. So the first example I'm gonna show you how to do is basically set up a YouTube horizontal stream. So we're gonna go to add output. We're gonna have YouTube here. We're gonna say YouTube output, primary YouTube ingest server, and then we're gonna put our YouTube stream key in. Now you can find this in the back end of your studio here. For example, it's just beneath where your stream key information is. You're gonna copy that and paste that into the settings. Once you've added your iBoot, you're then gonna get advanced settings. Now, obviously you can select your main encoder based upon your built-in stream from OBS, but say for example, with Twitch only having 6,000 bitrate or 8,000 if you technically want to go that high, um, encoding um, or Twitch multi um, or Twitch enhanced broadcast, you can just select your main encoder. But say for example, if you want to push it a little bit further because YouTube is very good in terms of how much bitrate you can send back out to the service, you can actually come in here, select maybe the exact same encoder that you're using for streaming and you can actually up your bit rate to, I think it's 25,000, I think they may possibly say for that. Um, I'm trying this off the top of my head. I will put down below links in the description for the best optimum settings for each service that you may want to check out. So once you've set up your video settings here, like I said, you can either choose main encoder. If you're using enhanced broadcast as well, once you go live on Twitch, you are able to select the different encoders, including resolutions. Next, you wanna do your audio settings. And so inside here, what we want to do is select track two because this is our safe track without any music going out to it. Yes, you may not have music inside your stream. However, you're not gonna get copyright strike, but if you're not doing that, you can just select track one and it's completely fine. Now there is a small bug within OBS, which I've discovered is once I have once I have actually gone live on YouTube, it's gone out to track one. All I need to do in the multi-stream is basically stop the live stream, come back into it, select track one, go okay, and then come back out, and then come into audio settings, and then select track two, and then hit the button again to go live, and it just seems to work. It seems to fix that completely. And um, so if you have any issues with that, that's a quick fix how to do that when you're live. But that's all there is to it. Now we've got our two different uh, horizontal stream outputs here, such as our built-in stream, which is Twitch and our YouTube output as well. Sadly, we do not have the ability to be able to click one button for them to go all live at once. However, watch this space. Next, we're gonna set up our vertical canvas output. 
we're going to go back into our settings here and this is our vertical canvas now we can easily just say output settings and let's just call this youtube vertical obviously yet again your server here you can come across to youtube and then select your uh, stream url which is your server server the rtmp you want to click on that and yet again you want to copy across your stream key and select save output after then as well you can select a different vertical encoder which is basically this encoder here is all set up within your actual um within your settings so vertical encoder will just use the exact same output as your main main encoder however it will be displayed out of the resolution here of your vertical canvas and yet again inside audio settings we're, we're going to make sure that track 2 is selected just to be safe on the safe side for copyright strikes or music people aren't meant to hear once you click OK, there we go. The icon is updated. You know it's out to YouTube. Now, the other option too is on your vertical canvas. We can add an output. We can select TikTok. Now, just remember, unless, of course, you are with an agency, you're not going to get a TikTok stream key. There is other means that I will link down below in the description of how to get a stream key for this, for being able to go live on vertical. However, I'm not going to go into that just in this in this video. So yeah, so pretty much it's as e it's literally as easy as that. That's literally how you do it. Um, we're going to have a wee look here as well, how we can add a kick stream as well. So let's go back to our main canvas here. Uh, we're going to close advanced settings. We're going to add another output. We're going to click on kick. So here we go. We got our... Um, I put name kick kick server. This is already the stream server URL is preset for kick. You do not need to change it. This is all completely fine. And then inside your kick dashboard, if you go uh, into channel and stream URL and key, you're then going to get your stream key. Once we have copied that across, we're going to get our other output here as well. And yeah, again, advanced settings, just in case of anything happening, we want to make sure that we've got track two going out to that and video settings as well. We're going to use the main encoder because, you know, the bit rate is very similar, quite similar to Twitch as well. So you're not really going to be losing out on that. If you wanted to rescale your output, say, for example, on Twitch, if you're doing the 930, uh, 936p output, you may want to go 1080 out on this, which then you can rescale the output and choose exactly what your canvas is. That's all there is to it. That's as easy as it is. One by one, you click them, you go live, and <laughs> you go live on everywhere you possibly want to. I've been streaming now for the past couple of weeks on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick all at once. I've not had a single issue with it. Um, if you're wanting to be able to you view all your chats all at once, uh, I also have a stream chat dashboard showing all the chats separately. If you actually want to have a chat overlay as well, say for Kick and Twitch, here's also my chat overlay for your stream. All you need to do is put your username in and it grabs it all for you. No logins needed at all, which is nice and easy. I will also link in the description a link out to both of these websites for you to use and a tutorial about the stream chat dashboard as well and how to use it. But anyways, guys, that's all there is for me today. Just a nice simple plugin tutorial. There's nothing really too complicated about this. It's nice and easy to set up and it just works. Sadly, as well, we do not have the ability for multiple canvases output as of yet within OBS just because of encoding and overloads and everything that is within the software that's not possible right now however you never know what the future may hold in terms of obs that's all for me today if you like the video drop a like if you want to subscribe subscribe to the channel i'm going to be heading to twitchcon this weekend so i'm doing this as fast as i bloody can because uh, we're heading out and flying out tomorrow i'm going to be hosting a fractal pc building workshop as well on this sunday from 11 a.m so please come along and check it out but until then i hope you have a good weekend and i will uh, catch you in the next one i'll see you then bye